This is not about shaming. This is not about blaming. This is not about making anybody feel bad. This is really about creating powerful awareness for you with regards to the energy game because everything is energy. We, we give our energy. The energy grows. Not the intention of why you're giving the energy. Energy is energy. Where you bring your energy, the energy grows. Right now, we are seeing more and more people bringing their energy to negative issues, thinking that this is going to resolve the issue. And I am being, um, <laughs> uh, I am being reprimanded, accused, whatever the fuck you want to call it, by a lot of people for not bringing my energy to the issues at hand. And the reason I'm not doing it is because I'm very fucking responsible with my energy and where I choose to bring my energy. Nothing that we are seeing at the moment is new. Maybe majority of people have just been living with their heads in the sand because they didn't want to acknowledge what is going on all around the world every single day, all the shit, all the rape, all the killing, all the whatever you want to call it. It's nothing new. It has been happening for millennia and it will continue to do so. And every time that somebody raises it in an ugly way to fuel the passion of the masses, we're making it worse. We are not making it better. As alpha females, we have a huge responsibility to clean up our energy every single day, to reconnect to that which we want to see and experience in the world, and then to be laser fucking focused in the zone, disciplined to ensure that that is where we flow our energy. So when people ask me to look at stuff, when people ask me to, what is this and that, and I respectfully decline, it's because I know how powerful and potent my energy is. And I am very, very responsible for where I choose to bring it. And I will always choose to bring it to love, always. Now here's the thing, and this is why I'm so passionate about Unleashed Through Love. Because most of you, and I say this with love and respect, don't understand the energy that you are vibrating on, and you don't understand the energy that you are increasing in the world. Because you feel like you're coming from a good place, but you're vibrating on fear. If you are using words like victim, you're not vibrating on the frequency of an alpha. You're vibrating on the frequency of fear. For there are no victims in the world. There is victim mentality. But we are all participants in life. We are all powerful beings having a life experience. And some of that life experience is epilicious. And some of that life experience is epigrowing, if we choose to grow. Yes, I've been raped, I've been abused, I have been shunned, I have been abandoned, I have been all of these things. I am not a victim of rape. I am not a victim of abuse. I am not a victim of abandonment. I am not a victim. Do you get the difference? Because when you say somebody is a victim, you are saying that there is a power greater externally to them than what they have inside of them. And that is bullshit. Especially if you want to tell me that you are spiritual and that you are alpha. Because the alpha frequency is love and it is truth and it is all powerful. Why? Because we are all created from love. That is the strongest frequency. What is happening in the world right now? Well, a lot of very good meaning people are not doing the work to unfuck themselves from social conditioning. They are powerful beings. 
very powerful. They bring powerful energy to wherever they focus and they are creating so much more energy around the social atrocities that is going on right now. Why? Because it's all a control game, ladies. They really are puppet masters who don't give a flying fuck about humanity or our world. They are obsessed in their greed for power and they will destroy whatever they need to destroy with their zero respect or consideration or compassion for life. You have to start connecting to this, not to be afraid of it, but to know what the fuck you're up against. For those of us who came here because we believe in humanity, we believe in love, and we are ready to take a stand for that by being that every single day, it is our responsibility to do the work, to get rid of the fear and the social conditioning, to vibrate on the frequency of Alpha, the original frequency of love, and then simply be that person wherever we go in the world, so that those who come around us can start vibrating on our tone. When you are highlighting issues, social issues, you are feeding the energy of the issue, not your good intention. That is why it keeps getting bigger and bigger and more and more. I am going to ask you from a space of love today, start being more responsible with your energy and where you bring your energy to. If you are not connected to your soul purpose every single day and committed to your soul purpose with a level of obsession, you get distracted, you get pulled into the drama, you get pulled into the prevalent issue that's being highlighted by social media today. That is all orchestrated by the puppet masters. You have to stay the course. You have to stand fast. You have to stay true to your soul, your purpose and your vibration. And until you do the work so that you can recognize the tone of fear and the tone of truth and love, you are always going to bring your energy to the wrong side. This is why it is getting worse by the day. So if you tag me or if you ask me to watch something and I see that it is just the latest pretty label that is being given for excusing people for living out of integrity and honor, I'm not going to watch it because I am not going to bring my energy to that. I will stay the course and I will bring my energy to my mission and my love every single day. And it's time for more alphas to do this inner work so that they can start consciously growing energy by shutting out the distractions, shutting out the fear and vibrating on love. That is the only way, ladies. It is the only way that we are going to be positive change in the world.